Hi friends and good evening once again. This is another episode of I Greyhound and we are right here at Entheos. Uh, this is the spanking, uh, well, state-of-the-art uh, office of no less than our president, architect Dean Cinco, uh, where he brainstorms uh, certain projects and uh, calls certain officials in the university for meetings. But this is one particular office where we would like to come uh, occasionally uh, to talk to our president, to talk to his staff, and also perhaps to find out what they are up to so far in uh, the projects that they have been doing. So may I welcome once again back in our program, uh, our university president, architect Victor Vicente Dean Cinco. Hi, sir. And uh, Hi. <laughs> yes, and uh, thank you once again for accommodating us here at Entheos and of course the free coffee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Always. <laughs> Sir, uh, let's talk about your your baby. I'd like to call it as your grown-up baby. And this mm. is Entheos. And we are right here. I know that this is very close to your heart. Aside from the university, aside from uh, what you are doing as a university president. But tell us the... Tell us what has been going on at the back of your mind when you set up Entheos. Uh, well, in the, in the beginning of... It was fairly simple, just looking for people to support me in a projects in Hawaii. And the projects would be whatever, literally whatever came in the door. Mm. Uh, I wasn't picky because we were looking at uh, just income and, and staying afloat. Yeah. Uh, but over the years, we've developed into basically I can be, or the firm can be selective. Not totally selective, mm -hmm. but we can be so much selective so that uh, we don't take on marginal clients mm -hmm. anymore. Okay, yeah. you, you can afford to do that now? Yes. Okay, yeah. uh -uh. but in the early years of Entheos? Uh, we we the... took anything that oh, came in the door. Okay, okay. <laughs> anything. Yeah. Yes. Anything because, uh, you know, it's just uh, an income reality yeah, yes, that yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you just need the money. Yeah. And, uh, not to prostitute yourself, but mm -hmm. yeah. you just yes. need to. You just need yes. to do it, and, right? and, and keep uh, body and soul together, yes. so to speak. Yes. So, uh, but being selective, uh, sir, how how selective can you can you be? These days, L like what are your criteria? These days, yes. These days, uh, currently, I don't tell anybody to go away. Of course, <laughs> no, you cannot do that. <laughs> After all, that's still income. <laughs> but. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I get kind of a sense that people have a better understanding of what I'm all about. So the what I've been surprised about for the last two or three years, even through COVID, is uh, the, que the concern about fees being too mm -hmm. high. Okay, is rarely spoken about these days. Mm -hmm. uh, um, among the among with, the professional circle. No, with my or, clients. Oh, with your clients. Uh, when I mention a certain figure. Okay. Uh, I don't see anyone swallowing hard anymore. <laughs> Nowadays, no? Nowadays, oh, okay. they're just like, okay. Oh. Actually, today I, I sent out a fairly large contract, which is uh, like two or three weeks overdue. Okay. And literally within 10 minutes, she signed it. Oh. Yeah, so, so it's like... The, the, the contract was sealed. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. so, I mean, it's getting towards the end of the year and yeah, we're yeah. still securing new contracts. Yes, That's yes, pretty nice. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, this, this particular client that you have spoken of, uh, the, the last one, uh, is it uh, a, a fairly new client or somebody whom you have worked with before? We've been working with her since, oh, okay. uh, since uh, June, I believe. Okay. And uh, just one thing led to another. So it's just yeah, additional yes, services, yes. Okay. more fees. Okay. And, you know, it is naturally upsetting to hear that you need to pay more. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there's an understanding that the services we'll provide mm. is worth yeah. the, yes, the value. Yes, yes, right. Yeah. And uh, any profession, for that matter, not only in the field of architecture, no, uh, would of course demand a particular fee yeah. uh, because it also demands a lot of work, no? Uh, good, it's, uh, it's not just experience. Good, excellent work, no? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not just experience that allows you to provide the uh, the level of excellence that yeah. everyone expects. It's also, 
a big chunk of it is just the time because uh especially when they the clients spend a lot of money mm. on your fees yeah, uh, yeah. you really have to just right spend time with them right, yeah right. you don't want to just run away because they'll feel like they're being used of course yeah. of course of course yeah so it's like uh, the professionalism the yeah. aspect would of course come yeah. in uh the determination to finish mm -hmm. a particular mm -hmm. uh, project and uh, is it always at the back of your mind sir to um so to speak satisfy what your client wants or are there also instances when you give them uh, a, a not really a piece of your mind but you gi give them an option of what they can do. I, you mean to take a flying hike? <laughs> <laughs> no, it has. It's but been, still it's, remain with you. Though. It's been a very long time since I've had to, since I've gotten annoyed oh. at clients because, you know, we've gotten better at selecting clients because even though they they like what we do, mm. you still have to make sure that the personalities don't clash. Wow. Yeah, because you. I mean, the one thing about projects, if it's a residence, it might take two years. Okay. And, and lately we're doing multifamily, which is like five years. Oh, okay. So there's five years of where not so much you can tolerate these people, mm -hmm. but five years where a, a friendship is, is uh, developed. Yeah. yeah yes, and, yes. and that's where the value is because yeah. once they become your friend, it kind of goes, you kind of forget they're your client because mm -hmm. uh, it's a service you're providing. Okay. They like what you do, I like mm -hmm. what I do for them. Yeah, yeah. And it's a it's a win-win situation. And you have uh, maintained, so to speak, a friendship, no, with them also. Most or of forged them. A Most of them. <laughs> Most of them, yes. But so, uh, some just don't yeah. understand what okay, we do, so okay. it's hard to maintain but, but, that. Uh, do you find it difficult? Of course, you had said that you you don't turn away anybody. No? Yeah. You don't turn away because after all, that's still income, that's still money. But uh, how do you how do you assess a particular client that you may not want? No, you know, it's it's you difficult. Know, yeah. Truthfully, in the beginning, mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm just a, an animal. It's just money. Yeah, yeah. It's just income. I, exactly. Yeah, you just look at it that way. It's like, oh, there's yeah, a, yeah. another opportunity to yeah, to last another three months. Yes, right, right, <laughs> yeah. But eventually, mm -hmm. when you start getting to know them, and, and, and the, the way it's approached is you don't ask them right away mm. what are their budgets mm -hmm. yes, uh, yes, or yes. anything like that. You just talk about what they want to do, what's their their uh, what's their goal in accomplishing yeah. in the, in whatever structure they want to build. Has there ever been an instance where you uh, compromised no your your fee because this Lots. client has become your friend? <laughs> Lots. Really, sir. That's okay. what we call in the industry an investment. Oh, <laughs> an investment on the purse on the client. Or on, on no, the on the next one. <laughs> oh my gosh, because it's going to be word of mouth, not the person. No, it's, it's, it's a really hard lesson to swallow. So whatever you're learning on this one, you'll never do again on the next oh, one. Oh, I see. My <laughs> goodness. No, but but uh, at least at this point in your career, you can afford to do that, no? Because, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're minimizing as yeah. much as possible because uh, you know, mistakes are just too costly and okay. they're really... Uh, it, it really draws on you emotionally the, okay. the mistakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does it does it really create so much stress? Uh, your job in itself, no, including your your people, is stressful enough, no. But dealing with clients who may be difficult to deal with is equally stressful. I don't have too many difficult clients anymore. Ah, uh, okay, that's because, good. Because uh, in in the that's early good. phases, yeah. you. Uh, you begin to understand their personalities. Okay, that's good. And if you don't like them, mm -hmm. you just don't respond to them. If okay. they want you to, if they want something from you, like okay. a proposal or okay. anything, mm -hmm. you just take your time. So mm -hmm. eventually, they realize that you're not you're not made for each other. Oh my! <laughs> and then they they are the ones who exit. Yes, oh. they go look for someone else. Yes. yes. And in the past, I would okay. really feel bad about that, but I for know, me, I it's know. a relief. I know. Oh my. But uh, wouldn't you also, at the back of your mind, say, oh my, that's uh, like money flying out of the window? No. Uh, okay. If you, what I've learned over the years is because, you know, there's that insecurity about income, mm -hmm. yeah, is right. you really have to allow the project to select you mm -hmm. rather than you selecting the project. Okay. Because okay. Uh, it, it, it is hours and hours and hours of just toil. Mm -hmm. And it, 
you know, you want to make it as enjoyable as yes, possible. Yes, and yes. if it's a, a very toxic relationship, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you just can't wait till it's over. And usually, okay. it takes a very long time to be over if you yes. don't like the relationship. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. Because it can stretch to maybe, yeah. as you had mentioned, three years, yeah. five years, or yeah. even more, yeah. uh, depending on the project itself. Now, yeah. how, how are you? I think I have asked you this in uh, some interview, but right right here at Entheos, where your people are also <laughs> listening to you, how, how are you as a as a boss or as a mentor, uh, exacting, as, demanding, as, uh, as bossy? A, as a boss, uh, I'm demanding. Mm -hmm. okay. As a mentor, after I'm demanding, I become a mentor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or, or after they stay with you. No? <laughs> well, no, I, I, you know, the, you just realize that I went through the same trials and tribulations. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I had several bosses that were just horrendous. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just remember that, you know, the lessons learned isn't from, well, it is from the scolding because you, you never want to do that ever again. But okay. when someone recovers and, and uh, starts to mentor you, yeah. you, you start to understand that they're, they're looking out for you mm -hmm. also. Okay, yes, yeah. right. But hopefully people would also understand that that is your uh, goal or well, objective towards them. Most do, okay. and a few haven't. Okay. <laughs> and what do they do? And what did they do? Quit. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think that would be the easiest. But uh, yeah. if they would want, uh, like I've, I've talked to three of your people here, yeah. no? but uh, if they want to learn more or perhaps carve a niche for themselves, then they would stay. No? You know, when I, when I was coming up through the ranks, I was really young and dumb and, you know, hmm. And impatient. Okay. And in my second firm, <laughs> I was only 25, I believe. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I told the partners that I wanted to be a partner in that company mm -hmm. when I was 25. Okay. Yeah. And then three years later, I realized I didn't like these guys. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so I went on to another firm, okay. which was offering me the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but I realized early on, like after six months, I didn't like them either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and you know that, that's the thing about partnership it's okay. like a marriage you have to have yeah. that uh, that quality, quality that allows you to to last mm -hmm. so after that last firm I decided to just go off on my own mm -hmm. and uh, j just try it and I never looked back okay yeah. yeah so now you're on your own <laughs> yeah yeah B better the, the the arrangement is better this way uh, yeah so far in your experience yeah. it, it, it is good and you know, COVID, the two and a half years of COVID is pretty tough because a lot of our project load dropped yeah. by half. Oh. But in the last year of COVID, uh, because, well, in Hawaii especially, mm -hmm. you know, the disease was going away under control. Everyone was feeling more confident. So okay. the projects just came out like mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything was just pent up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The competitiveness of the industry is it uh, more competitive <laughs> now here in the philippines i'm glad you i'm glad you brought that up okay. because <laughs> competitiveness the local i'll say this the local architects don't seem to understand that the industry that the amount of work out there is plenty for everybody yeah uh, and there's no need for any kind of protectionism uh, which we had experienced in uh, the past here uh, yes Local. A lot of okay. a lot of negative protectionism, where mm -hmm. uh, some architects were trying to steal okay. uh, my people. Mm. So by rate, by rating or something. Trying, steal, uh -huh. but I changed that by paying everybody more, so oh, okay. they, they can't okay. match okay. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's a good strategy. No? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but that, that's just one thing that I learned mm. in Hawaii, because Hawaii, everyone thinks it's such a small place, and okay. the number of design professionals mm. per capita is really high. Mm. But in Hawaii, I think I've only ran short on work uh, during the uh, financial crisis mm -hmm. in, uh, was that 2008, 2009? Something, yeah. early, early 2000. That was the only time where it dropped, okay. really dropped. I mean, COVID wasn't that bad. Oh. It, it was that the only time, but I was still able to to find projects. Yes, yes, and and, and the bottom line, and, and the other thing too is I don't advertise. Mm -hmm. So, oh, yeah. mm -mm. since I don't advertise, it's all by word of mouth. Yeah, yes. And it, all, that, that's why it's important to, to be friends with your clients is because... Okay. They, are you, your, they are your ambassadors. So yeah, they, you know, yeah like they'll treat you, you treat them well, they'll yeah. treat you well. Yeah, yeah, right, right. You know, uh, it's a good thing to know, sir, and uh, you had mentioned it, that uh -huh. the, the playing field no, is really vast. For yeah, the industry. it is. It so is. no need. Imagine that. No, no need to like. There, there's there's uh, really like jostle your way. There's no need. I mean, I, I oh. want. I won't say it's easy. Yeah. You really have oh. to 
work at it. Yes, yes. But it's not like you have to steal from others. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just uh, definitely put your best foot forward. Yeah, yes. And then things will work out. Yeah. yeah. Or be uh, be credible. I, I wonder. Or credibility. I wonder. Well, that would be the you know, for, for, uh, if you don't have so projects okay. to help you to be credible, okay. You basically make up projects so you okay. can practice yeah. being credible. Or or projects that would speak <laughs> for themselves, no? Something yeah, like that. yeah. And, and people would see it yeah. and uh, they would say this is the work of uh, there a particular There are a lot of architects out there that like to tell you, mm. I did that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And they also like to tell you that I, I did that well oh, okay, without okay. being asked. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm not the type to come out and say that. I just, if I listen to someone with certain, uh, mm. certain problems mm -hmm. that need to be solved mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just offer solutions okay. you know I I don't say that well I did this and I was really okay. good or anything like uh -huh. that I just talk about the solutions or, or maybe we can put it the other way around no we can uh, have it the other way around like if they have a problem with a particular architect you come in and say let no. me let me like uh, well, do that for for you I'm not supposed to do that that's against yeah. our yes, creed yes, yes. to yeah to uh, talk stink about other architects. Right, that's right. Not to say I have still have that weakness. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but you know something like, yeah, I can do it better than, well, than the previous one? Not so much that, but mm -hmm. the way we state it is we can look at it and see, let us see what we come ah, up yes, with. Okay. Yeah. So it basically, I, I don't want to mm -hmm. preload the expectations mm -hmm. and whatever you come up with, it's up to them to decide if it's, if it's going to be us or not. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. What is your like work ethic uh, as far as you, you are concerned and as you radiate it to your uh, people, sir, or your co-workers? Well, if you ask my employees, they think I work too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. If you ask they my, they seem to be enjoying it. If no? you ask my wife, yeah, okay. they, well, I think they are, or they're <laughs> pretending to be. <laughs> <laughs> because you paid them well, you said that. <laughs> if you ask my wife, she tells me you work in spurts. Oh. But I think she's saying it's unfair because for her, she just has to continue tr trudging okay. through. Yes, yes. Versus for me, I reach solutions quickly, uh -huh. and I give myself time to analyze the solution okay. and then I get back to it. Okay. But in reality, I, I, I do think I work too much because uh, mm -hmm. I'm always examining, that's the architect's weakness, is always looking at the future okay. rather than focusing on the present. We, oh, architects should focus more on the present than the future, but we always spend a lot of time, mm -hmm. you know, some people call us daydreamers. <laughs> <laughs> or what? I don't know if this is a good word, visionary or yeah, daydreamer uh, or dreamer. Well, some or people say visionary, and visionary. some people will say daydreamer. It, Either way, it means the same yeah. thing to me. Oh, meaning yeah. lo looking at the future, but yeah. I think that's good. Yeah, always yeah. looking towards it, uh, always looking, looking forward. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, so that means that you continue to do like research and uh, things that would uh, improve further, no? The yeah. profession that you are in. You know, it, it's odd you ask that because, you know, here in the Philippines, um, you can't buy products off the shelf. Mm -hmm. So you, over here, I, I, I end up reinventing the wheel quite often okay. to get a certain uh, result. Yeah. And when I go back to Hawaii, I have to stop myself from doing that because yeah. everything is off the shelf. Yes, yes. Nothing is custom made. Oh. Okay. Right. So it, it's a, it's two worlds. So. Mm -hmm. Right, it's, right. it's pretty interesting working yeah. both. But you have adjusted uh, yourself really quite well, no? Over the yeah. last years. Yeah. No? Yeah. But you know, you look at that table there. And <laughs> that is just. Impossibly expensive in Hawaii. Oh, but, but here it was quite affordable. Okay, custom made, <laughs> custom built. Completely. Wow. And not only that, but it's like two thousand tons. I don't really know how our people got it My. up here. Yeah. Yes, and and we're actually on the what is this second or third, third floor? floor. And, third floor. And right? we have very narrow stairs on either end. So I know both I, ends. Yes. I didn't watch how okay. it went. I wish somebody here would have documented you were not it. Here when, when this was brought up. No, I. Uh, I, I was here when it was being fabricated, but, but I was somewhere else in uh, a meeting, and they, they took an afternoon to bring it up here uh, and assemble okay. it. So they fab fabricated this in the elsewhere shop. In, ah, the shop. In, the, in the shop. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah, sir. You know, uh, this is one episode where we have to, of course, <laughs> greet our uh, constituents, our yeah. stakeholders, and everyone. And uh, since this is the 
season of Advent, uh, perhaps a message, sir, that you'd like to leave well, with us? I don't have a message, but uh, I do remember, because having grown up here until I was 10, I do remember going back and forth between here and Manila for school. And I do remember the first time that my mom came home from her graduate studies. And you don't have Christmas trees here, you just, they're all synthetic, right? Mm. And we had the first Christmas tree, and it was silver, and she had a color wheel. And uh, I think most people in the United States would say, very Filipino. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but I remember that well because uh, my mom think? had been gone for two years. I think I was eight, uh -huh. seven or eight, eight or something eight, like yeah. that. And I remember that. And But, you know, many years later, I, I'm not really a Christmas type of person mm -hmm. because the thing about Christmas is the end of the year for me. And because I'm always analyzing what I do, I, I'm full of negative thoughts towards the end of the year. Really, sir? Oh my God. <laughs> because, of, because of things that have not been accomplished. Oh. And so, I mean, negative thoughts in such a way that next time I'll just push myself okay. harder. Yeah. But I'm not, I'll say Merry Christmas, that's about <laughs> it. But, <laughs> but I'm not the type to, okay. yeah. you know, no, no one can ask me to dress up like Santa. You know? I, of course, I don't no. think it fits. No, 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 I'm not that kind of personality. I won't, yeah, exactly. I won't do it. I'll be the bah, bah humbug Santa <laughs> if someone asks me to do that. Yeah, right, right. But, but the one thing about Christmas is it is a very pleasant time of the year. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, in the U.S., Thanksgiving is when you have family reunions. Yeah, Thanksgiving, I think, it's a big thing. But, but here, it's Christmas where the yeah, reunions are, are the highest. Yeah. And everyone just seems to be happy. So it's kind of... Kind of nice. But but do you feel uh, very quickly because now 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 that you have like you know spoken out yeah. and uh, admitted this right here on yeah. television, it's interesting. <laughs> but do, do you feel how do you feel when Christmas time comes? Do you feel happy, sad? There are some people I know who feels sad, who feel sad. Well, in previous years, time. I've been kind of grumpy. Ah. Uh, actually, I miss the. Christmas parties often uh -huh. towards the end of the year. Okay. <laughs> but but we're I think I <laughs> think this year I'm kind of looking forward to it because it's uh, it's been a relief because COVID has really uh, I think I've grown a few gray hairs during COVID mm -hmm. about the school surviving. Okay. You know, I wasn't so concerned about Antios, yeah, yeah, but yes. just the school. Yes, yes. And we've seen a lot of progress since uh, July. Mm -hmm. And it's really something to be very thankful yes, for. Right. And so I think this year, I can be a little more cheerful. Yay! <laughs> right, yeah. And then perhaps a uh, spark of hope for everybody being cheerful yeah, as well. Yeah, I really, forward again. I, I really don't know what I'm going to say in, in the Christmas parties. I'm just <laughs> still mulling over my head what yeah, to say. Right. But in general, it's it's uh, it's a a very pleasant time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Truly, and uh, I think we share the same uh, yeah. hope and joy yeah. uh, that uh, you have now, sir. Uh, yeah. Uh, I hope we're not getting teary-eyed here now. No. <laughs> Actually, yeah. the, the guys behind me, uh, <laughs> they didn't tell you, but you know, these guys have gotten an offer of a lifetime. Wow. That at least okay. the senior ones mm -hmm. were. Uh, I've said, as an architect, I'm going to keep going until I drop. Yes, yes, yes. But I've told them that in 10 years, I don't want to manage an office. Mm -hmm. I still want to do architecture, yeah, of course. but I don't want to manage. So I basically told them, it'll be yours in 10 years if you want it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yes. So, Merry Christmas to them, right? <laughs> <laughs> and Merry Christmas to all of us, sir, with this beautiful Christmas tree. Thank you for putting this out. No, I didn't for, do for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but thank you really, sir, from the bottom of our hearts. Yeah. Uh, this is a nice uh, year-ender, and yes. uh, I think we're looking at the future just like most architects are. Huh? You said that you look to the future, towards the future. Towards the future. Towards the future, yeah. yeah. And actually, I think maybe that's this year why it's more pleasant, because the future is pretty bright. It's yeah. pretty, pretty yeah, bright. That's great, yeah. yeah. So it's a nice, <laughs> nice way to, uh, well, like spark the emotion yeah. and the enthusiasm in yeah. everybody. And besides, entheos means enthusiasm, right? It's a root it's a word of enthusiasm. A Greek? Greek? And it's Greek for yeah. in the power of God. So okay. en is in, okay. and Zeus, or ah, theos, is, theos is God. Okay. And I'm not religious in that sense. Yeah. But 
It's the root word of enthusiasm or zeal. Uh huh. Yeah. So you have that kind of feeling towards what you do. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. And uh, all of us here at Foundation University share in this uh, particular zeal, yeah. enthusiasm. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, hope for a better, brighter future. The future yes. is bright enough, but we hope for a better and brighter future. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. And uh, see you uh, again, of course. Of course. Uh, in, uh, of course. <laughs> huh? In future episodes. Yes. Okay. We will be right back, friends, uh, for the second episode of uh, this week's Eye Greyhound. Yes, we're back once again, friends, on I Greyhound, and yes, we are still at the Entheos on the campus of Foundation University, and I am speaking to someone who I have met, not met before, but I have discovered that her husband, and I think that's a trivia, is someone who I have known in the past, so it's truly nice to meet Miss Janeth Balolong. Hi, Ma'am Janeth. Hi, Ma Hello. And uh, I am truly glad that I have found you, so to speak, here at Foundation University. But let me see, you have been at Entheos for the past 13 years? Yes, and Mom. That's a good number of years to be in a particular uh, agency or or an institution. How has it been uh, after all these years and after having worked uh, elsewhere, not necessarily in Negros Oriental? Uh, this is my first uh, work for related for my uh, architecture degree. Degree. Yes. Yeah. Working here is a nice experience because it develops all my career as an architecture. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. The projects that you have been handling or you are currently handling here at Entheos. How has it been so far? All our, uh, our Hawaii projects. Uh -huh. are, yes, okay. And uh, like residential projects yeah. and some are commercial projects. Like for example, the uh, hot dog on a stick, uh, same as the fast food commercial yeah. product. What do you call that? So you, you design yeah. it? You design <laughs> it? As, uh, no, I'm just uh, preparing the the permit set and okay. Sir Dean is the one to have the final design for yeah. that and we are going to prepare that for the permit set and then coordinate with the architecture, uh, the electrical and the uh, some doc consultants like electrical and mechanical. Yeah, yes. Like so, plan works like yeah. that. So it's a combination of also uh, interacting and linking no? yes. with other agencies and individuals including organizations yes. uh, uh, that are related of course to architecture and design yes uh, among the well the projects and the clients that you have handled no? uh, would would you say that those who are here locally perhaps not here or perhaps yeah. in the Philippines no? and those outside of the country you mentioned Hawaii yeah. um, I'm not, I'm not really picking like picking on any one particular client, no. But what are their demands? Do do they demand so much of what you can give them, or are they reasonable enough to listen to your concerns, perhaps, or maybe to your suggestions? Yeah, they're 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 listening. What what yeah. the concerns regarding they they want to have for their uh, design for yeah. their house for the specific projects like that. They are responsive. They are considerate for everything that are regarding our concerns. This is something that I'm always curious about. Anyone who may be dealing with clients, whether locally or of course nationally or even abroad, uh, there are individuals who may be quite, you know, sometimes they are easy to deal with. There are some who are also uh, well demanding because they have minds of their own. No? So h how do you deal with such clients? Do, um, do you put your foot down because perhaps you would say you know yeah. better? Yeah, we need to keep the uh, uh, same level. Uh, we're going to listen to everything they, they want to. We want to explain also what's the consequences regarding what they, they want, the design like that. We encounter pro a problem, yeah, yeah. so we need to explain to them that this is not feasible. Yeah, then okay. we need to find some mm -hmm. ways to, yeah. 
yes. to be. Yeah, your work experience, no, and having worked here at Entheos for the past 13 years and even counting, no, yeah. would mean that you, of course, love the work that you are doing. Yeah. And uh, yes, you're able to adjust to the environment and so on. And of course, the person on top of the helm yeah. is uh, the university president of Foundation University, yeah, who is, true. of course, uh, an architect himself, no? architect Dean Cinco. And uh, does he demand so much from all of you guys, so especially you want, like, yeah. like maybe perfection or... That really a perfection, but yeah. he wants us to be... Um, maybe yeah, an excellent, like excellent, uh, yes. yeah. But, but maybe excellent, but perhaps <laughs> knowing him, no, maybe close to perfection. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the individuals who you have worked with, not only here inside uh, the office or here at Entheos, and individuals whom you have worked with outside as well, no, the camaraderie perhaps and the interaction that you have had with them, are there certain things that you may have picked up? from all of these individuals whom you have worked with and even including uh, your your immediate boss, uh, architect Dean Cinco. Yeah, you have to be attentive for everything because you need, you need to deal with uh, different people for for that certain project. Yeah. Your, your attitude is very good, no? Because after all, be, uh, being in this uh, particular profession, you need to be exacting. You also need to be on top of the situation, and as you had mentioned, you take down notes. Yeah, you make I sure that. that yeah everything is yeah. Uh, in order. Yeah, and uh, the profession or the field of architecture is vast, no? And uh, there are many who are into this profession now. Of course, at the uh, Foundation University, we have a growing population in our Department of Architecture and Fine Arts. So perhaps this is an opportune time for you, Ms. Janeth, to uh, maybe address certain uh, individuals who are listening to us right now and who would want to come to foundation and perhaps work in an atmosphere or in an environment like Entheos or perhaps elsewhere. Any particular message to them? Uh, um, for those who want to experience or uh, need to improve their career as an architect or, or, or uh, architecture, Entheos is best example for your career because uh, everything uh, related for architecture you can learn here. When I started here, I don't know how to use uh, Archicad, okay. like uh, computer aided yeah, design. Com computer aided mm -hmm. design. I think Entheos is the best if you want best experience yeah. for your career. Yes. Starting or perhaps building up your career yeah, at Entheos. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Janet. That has truly been a nice uh, conversation with you being a well I would not want you to I would not want to call you as a veteran here at MPOs but somebody who has been here for a good number of years and uh, hopefully spend the the rest of your uh, productive life here at MPOs thank you very much once again Miss Janet thank you Yes, we're back once again, friends, on iGreyhound, the official talk show of Foundation University. And we're right here at Entheos, the beautiful, wow, um, state-of-the-art uh, office of Foundation University's president, architect, uh, Dean Cinco. And yes, we're speaking once more to another... Uh, staff or architect, yes, of Entheos in the person of Ms. Lay Margaret Lagrimas. Yes, she's a product of Foundation University, a graduate of architecture, and of course, a uh, certified licensed architect. Yes, so uh, Lay, can I call you Lay? Yes, Lay, you've been here for the past six years. Yes. And I think for somebody who is a, uh, so immediately after graduation, you work here at Entheos. No, yes, not really. I, okay. I started working here when I after like one year, after I received my okay. license. Ah, okay, yeah. yes, uh, yes. He tried to convince me to work to, after my graduation, but okay. I said, no, I need to, I need life. Oh my God, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, no. meaning you, you have to, you have to get your life back, no? Yeah, yeah. After uh, five years? Yeah, five oh, years yes, of architecture. Five years. And then I understand that uh, 
the architecture program no? in the Philippines also requires that their graduates get a two-year yes, uh, something like immersion Appre apprenticeship. apprenticeship yes, yes. So, so you did that of course yes, yes. Uh, with architect Amores ah okay uh, where is that here in Dumaguete yes yes ma'am yes and then uh, immediately after you took the board exam mm -hmm. yes and yes thankfully you passed the board exam and now you're here so yes. immediately after passing the board no no like no. one year after. Uh, one year after I took a break oh, okay so <laughs> again okay so from from school break yeah oh yeah and then after that not the, really oh, I took not, a break not, after not really school break, yeah. I, I took like after Maybe. I graduated I went to apprenticeship okay, with another yes. architect but yes, not yes. here in Antios yes. because he wanted me to work here oh, but I said no being. sir yes, oh, yes. <laughs> then I then I after like two years of apprenticeship I okay. took the exam then like I took a break yes. because like I was searching maybe. souls or yeah. maybe like that. Okay. Then maybe after that, yeah. I applied here in yes. Antios. Yes, a breather. I cannot mm -hmm. blame you, of course, no, Lay, for uh, like thinking that way and uh, following your heart's desire, so to speak. So how has it been for the last six years? Is that just a minute, no? Because I'm I'm overwhelmed with uh, so many questions as well. I I want to get so much from from you. Uh, let me see. Is it a good time to? be in this particular organization uh, after having garnered or uh, gotten your, your degree and uh, passed the license. And, and six years, you know, is, is quite a long time for somebody to stay in a particular organization. But you have stayed, no? For six years here. Here in Antioch. Yeah, in, here in Antioch. Yeah, it was, it is fun okay. working here. Yeah. Uh, from time to time, there's like problem, but okay. it's always been fun. Uh, the work environment is really pretty chill yes you know um, today young people or perhaps graduates of uh, certain degree programs may stay in a particular job maybe for about a year mm -hmm. or two and then leave so to speak for what we call as greener pastures maybe mm -hmm. or maybe again you said that soul searching or some something but you know six years I have to congratulate you no? <laughs> so must be the environment must really be great including the your our immediate boss no Le, to be yeah. honest I learned a lot from okay. Sergi uh, yeah. He thought, uh, although he is our boss, he yeah. he was more like a mentor to okay. us. Mostly okay. from people who graduated from the foundation. Yeah. He, yes, yes. When we work in Antios, mm -hmm. he become like more a mentor than yes, okay. than a boss. Yes, right. Aside from the part when he scolded us because yes. we messed up something, that's <laughs> the time then he will like be oh, his boss mudra. Okay. So and then when he scolds you, that's the time when you really regard him as as your boss yes no? yes and of course at the same time a mentor now you mentioned that there may be certain uh, kinks so to speak no in your in your job or perhaps certain situations where you might have uh, bungled up no but how did you deal with such situations uh we persevere <laughs> like okay. like uh when it, maybe when we uh meet something like uh, or encounter some mm. problems yeah. uh, and then he like tell us what's going on or it's like he or he will tell us that he, the there are thing with certain that if you fuck up mm. he would really tell you you fuck up okay <laughs> so yeah. you have to know what to do mm -hmm. to solve that problem ah to you to, so, yeah, okay. so you need yeah. to like persevere um yeah. yes. uh, think why why this is go, uh, mm -hmm. what's the problem mm -hmm. how to solve mm -hmm. this stuff like that okay yeah the clients that you have encountered no of course mm -hmm. both locally nationally mm -hmm. and then abroad no perhaps specifically in Hawaii yeah, yeah. Uh, were there certain learnings that you have gotten from them and uh, things that you would really bring with you uh, for a lifetime or while you pursue your career as an architect lay probably is um um, know your value, like mm, okay. uh, know what is your worth or something okay, like that. Okay, okay, yeah. And do you mean that you in, you love yourself first, perhaps, no? Or maybe maybe regard <laughs> yourself first as somebody who is worthy? Or uh, well, what I noticed so far is from working here in yeah. NTS is is that um, Sardine is like he knows his um, his um, what do you call this? His value. Okay, like what he is worth of okay so when when clients want him to design something mm -hmm. so he tells them this is what i am worth for uh, okay. so the okay. that i don't see that with other people or like okay. 
some people I encounter mm-hmm. uh, in my industry. Yes, so yes. that's what I learned that maybe that's the right way to do. Mm-hmm. And when if a client mm-hmm. agree with that, yes, so yes. it means that he that client really likes you. Yes, yes, right. So he will trust you mm-hmm. and he uh, most probably he will really like your design. Okay. But of course uh, so to speak you have to walk the talk no yeah, or yeah. show what you are worth yeah yeah okay so, so that's really yeah. certain is really good with that yes of course <laughs> of course yes uh, but for for example clients uh, who may not have been familiar no with your work or perhaps uh, the mm, work that we have yeah. here no oh, this is the time when you perhaps show uh, what you can what you can do we counter some clients yes. that um, especially in local, mm-hmm. that um, okay. <laughs> mostly because Sergio is usually the one who who talks to clients yes, in yes. Hawaii, mm-hmm. and we encounter most of the clients here in Philippines because yeah. he's usually in Hawaii. We usually know when the client mm-hmm. is re- really likes uh, yes. the work of Antios, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and we also know that he's like just. Uh, trying to fish ideas uh, yes, like that. Yes, yes, yeah. There are perhaps certain clients who are also, who are also like that, fishing for information, mm, maybe, yeah. or fishing for ideas. So, Foundation University has truly prepared you, no, Miss Lay, for this particular career because you're a graduate here. Yeah, yes. when, when we were students, Sir mm, yeah. Dean was also like always. When I first met him, okay. it was like. Oh, you guys work are so sucks. So, something like that. He okay. was like already, oh, what kind of work is this? Mm-hmm. Like like that. So he was already scolding us okay. at the first time I met him. And the high year, mm-hmm. like probably at that time we were only like fourth year, third year. It was like okay. in the early phase of architecture and yes, foundation. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it was like, oh, you need to be careful with your dean okay. because like that. that, that. There yeah. was like a negative. Mm-hmm. Um, vibe already yes, like yes. he's probably like i was already panicking <laughs> when, okay. when they told me that then i realized you're I, a student of course yeah a student and yet, that was when i was first year yes, but yes. i realized as i uh, as i um go with the process mm-hmm, or like mm-hmm. i became fourth year if you feel like yes, that yes yes right. i realized that he was just teaching us yes, how course. the industry works yeah. or how the design thing works yeah you, usually some individuals and even teachers for that matter like uh, wield a, a a strict hand no mm. uh, to get the best out of the students or, or that yeah, yeah. that's that really teaching. true yes yeah. that they're teaching now um yeah very quickly uh in the few minutes that we have left lay because you're a product of foundation uh, just a minute did you also take part of uh, studio damgo yeah oh. we were at studio what? damgo too ah to what what was your project again? uh multi-purpose hall oh, in, in bomb pandan ah okay so yeah in the few minutes that we have left because here you are uh, you could very well be a spokesperson for the graduates no of foundation university the architecture program mm-hmm. and like you're here now you're now a professional uh, you are working here at Entheos. perhaps a way by which you can uh, impart to them your thoughts uh, as a licensed architect now and as they also try to journey into coming over to Foundation University? Well, as a fresh graduate from senior high, mm-hmm. if you're planning to enroll here in Foundation University for in architecture program, I'm pretty sure as you as you enter the course, you will really realize that the school is try is really trying to prepare you for the real um, real life in our industry. Yes, very yeah. nice, no? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Godspeed, uh, yeah, Lee, yeah. and we're counting. Well, not really counting the years, but uh, hope that uh, you will have more than more six years perhaps more than six years to go and uh until a lifetime perhaps here <laughs> we'll see. yes we'll see. right yeah thank you very much <laughs> thank you mom yeah that was uh, lay margaret uh, lagrimas of uh, entheos yes we're back once again on i greyhound and we are speaking to a gentleman by the name of Bambo. Oh, yes. wow. Huh? He is actually Care Bambo. <laughs> yes. 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 And uh, he is a graduate of Foundation University's architecture program uh, in 2016. And this is your first uh, job, I understand, yeah, Care? My first employment. First employment, yes. yes full-time. A full-time uh, regular employment, yes. And so how has it been? It has been six years. Yes. Wow. <laughs> six years. Congratulations, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's and counting, of course. Yeah, counting, yeah. yes. Counting, yes. And uh, do you see yourself uh, stay, of course, uh, staying here maybe in the next uh, 
six years, six another years. six years or I so. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe. Uh huh. But so, so how has it been? Ah, uh, it's good. For it's some. a good um, journey. I'm doing my apprenticeship here in Antios for three years. Then ah, okay. after I took, I took the, my exam, the, the exam the be back here. In, Wow. And I work here almost three years as a licensed architect. Okay, wow, great. Yeah. No, can you imagine? Uh, I'm curious, uh, Bam. No, why did you choose architecture for for? Uh, well, of course, mm. perhaps this a it's a lucrative profession. No, but yes. uh, as far as you're concerned, maybe I'm being influenced by my father, who maybe. is also an architect. No, uh, um, under bird lang. Okay. okay. What did he tell you? from his experiences as an architect? Since um, when I was a kid, he's always influenced with, with doing um, his work. He teach me how to draw and doing his stuff, like planning and uh, doing plans for residential houses mm -hmm. and making designs. Mm -mm. Yeah. yeah. And uh, where do you think uh, your specialization lies? At this moment of my mm -hmm. career, yes. I think still very young in mm -hmm. this profession. Maybe yeah. I'm still exploring what my capabilities and mm -hmm. my what my strength in this field because architecture is so broad yeah, and it's very very broad, really. Yeah, yes, broad mm -hmm. practice. Yes, right. And uh, you know, I, for somebody who has spent your internship, no, you call yeah. it as an internship. Yes. Prior to taking the board exam, board exam for at least two years or yeah, three at least, years, at least two and then years. immediately after the board exams, you also work here in yeah. the same place, no, yes. uh, at Antheos. Uh, clients so far that you have encountered uh, care that mm. have been uh, instrumental in shaping what you would also plan to do in the next uh, years or so. Actually, in my practice here in Antheos. And do not usually have the um, the direct interaction to the client because I'm just under by Sardin yeah. or Lay and Mam Janet. Yes, yes. The instruction is really from Sardin. Yes. So okay. I really don't have the the direct interaction with the client yeah. in, in my work here in NTS. Yes. yes. So you get instructions, yes, no, instructions. from uh, mm. uh, individuals who have been here yes. uh, earlier on, and of course from architect Dean. Yes. But uh, were there times, uh, care that you thought not to yourself that. Uh, even if the instruction was given this way, no, mm. or perhaps the design, for example, was already uh, finalized and so on, mm. did you feel that you could have, you you would have wanted to inject something that is your own? Yes. I, I'm just wondering. That's why uh, what I want here out uh, for what I experienced here in Teos, what I want for Sardin is is allowing us to do our uh, design or make our solution for that certain problem at yeah. the design. So. Sometimes um, he just give an, a minimal instruction for us, okay. and then he allow us to think okay. for the solution, and yeah. also he, he don't want to spoon feed us. Oh, okay. Mm. Or maybe explore, no? Yeah, explore. How, how else, no? You can mm. uh, make the design maybe yes. more functional, yes. no, and and feasible. Yeah. Mm. Among the designs, perhaps, or the projects that you have encountered, no? Maybe we can talk about it in a general sense, no? Mm. What struck you the most? For without even without without really going into specifics, no, maybe uh, a general description, and why? For design, I, I really want the <clears throat> it's like a more on natural. I really don't have that um, design, particular design mm -hmm. that I really love the most. But mm -hmm. I can appreciate design that usually um, by design by an architect or a mm -hmm. designer, especially from especially from Sardin, I really mm -hmm. learn a lot from him. Mm -hmm. Were you part of the Studio Dumbo yes. as well? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. uh, which one was um, this? Batch Four Studio oh, Dumbo Four. Yes, from, yes. Our project is in Tumagete Port. Ah, okay. The, uh, the information center. Ah, yes, yeah, okay. Tourist information yes, center. Uh, yeah, along the port area, I yes. think. No, near the, the near the gate. Yes. Near the gate. Yes. yes. Oh, right side. yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that was really that, that's very good. Yes. No? Oh, <laughs> Thank other, you. Among other projects, yes. yeah, Thank and you. functional, and people have been uh, appreciating, appreciating and using it. it, of course. Yes. yes. Yeah. Very good. The experiences, uh, very quickly, uh, care that you have garnered here at Foundation University. Would you say that it has prepared you? For yeah. the job that you are handling now, yeah, I think it's and really prepared me, mm -hmm. especially in the times of Studio Damgo because mm. I took the Studio Damgo for how many months? I think we I, we graduated in March 2016, but we extended for almost mm -hmm. six months because okay. of some unforeseen mga yeah. problems. Yes. Then I think we turn over the projects October of 2016. So after graduate, we still do our 
<laughs> school stuff yeah. is going to yes. finish because and also we uh, give the pride that that is our project and yes, the foundation yes. to you yeah. before so i think that's the one of the most memorable experience for me yes, and yes. after that um studio dango october that's what certain um convinced me to work to for here, here. Yes, here. Okay. so i think oh. just i have just one week or two weeks mm -hmm. break then that's good yeah. no that's good yeah and uh, when you each time that you go to the port area of yeah. Kashno, when you travel <laughs> how do you feel when you look at your project we have a lot of one um a lot of bash or mm. some people because it's made of bamboo then oh yeah oh. they said that that project will be not l last, not last. Oh. or one year or mm -hmm. just a month but mm -hmm. Until now, it's just yes, stood yes. there. And it's actually well maintained. Yeah. No? Uh -oh. By the port. By, yeah, by the, the PPA. Yeah, by the PPA. Very mm. good. Yeah. So you are a product uh, of Foundation yeah. University's uh, architecture yes. program care. And I think this would be one good time for yeah. you to address uh, individuals, parents, uh, even prospective students no? who would want to build a career in architecture, architecture. and have you as their so called, wow, inspiration, somebody who <laughs> they, can, who they can get a <laughs> lesson yeah, or two maybe. from yeah okay you can address them care. okay so for all the aspiring architects and for the parents uh, you can come in foundation university the education the the faculty and staff the programs especially the what students uh, giving the, the direction, lesson direction yeah. for the students at first you can do uh, think that certain so strict but mm -hmm. if you really dissect what what he's talking about uh, uh, you can get uh, the juice mm. from it and I think for me uh, architecture in foundation is really good and yes. it's really I can really recommend it yeah. and prepares yeah. you well yeah no? prepares you well in for your next um, chapter of your life become an architect yes very nice no very inspiring yes inspiring words care because after <laughs> all uh, you have now built a career of your own yeah. and perhaps a niche of your own as well okay, in the, the profession that uh, you have chosen yes so with that friends uh, we bring to a close another very interesting episode of i greyhound we have just been talking to three of our good yeah. friends our friends here yes. at entheos and it has truly been nice uh, conversing with them and learning a lot from them as yes. well so we hope to visit them once again here at NPO yeah. <laughs> talk to them and perhaps take a look at their projects yes, yes. so thank you very thank much you. Uh, once again and uh, to care and yes. the rest of those whom we have interviewed we hope to see you again thank you ma'am yes and uh, please don't forget we have replays uh, on channel 6 every Friday and Saturday from 2 o'clock in the afternoon to 3 in the afternoon and we are also being streamed live on the Facebook page of Foundation University. Once again, thank you very much to my stylist, Miss Nicole Kalumpang for my beautiful clothes as always on the show. This has been Cecil Henove bidding everyone a pleasant evening and of course a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year to all.